how to sell a product before you even create it. CEO of Smobile, Peng Jun is here. I want you to set your expectations high because I will massively exceed them. So very recently, I just sold slightly over $120,000 worth of product before I even created it. And in fact, tonight is going to be the night I'm gonna fulfill it for the very first time. And I did it very transparently. I told my buyers that this thing doesn't even exist yet. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the five moves that you gotta make if you wanna be able to sell a product before it even exists and how do you do it ethically and morally. And by the way, if you watch to the end of this video, you will be able to avoid the biggest mistakes that happens to most business owners, which is usually committing to buying products first and then selling it. Most business owners, if they're selling something physical, they would manufacture the product, they would order and commit to a thousand different orders where their house ends up being a warehouse if it doesn't sell, or most digital product owners, what they would do is they would create some sort of course or ebook, and then after they create it, they would go sell it. And many times they might sell it only to realize nobody's really interested. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the plan that did over $120,000 in sales just about three weeks ago before even creating this product and how you can do the same thing. It's five steps. You ready? Let's go. Step number one, in order to sell a product before you even create it, is to ask yourself this question, which is basically, who do I serve and what is the result I generate? You see, before this event happened, so there was this event three weeks ago where I spoke at, was an event um, in Nashville, Steve Larson's event. And when I was at this event, I, I knew I was going to be on stage for about three and a half hours. I had to do two sessions, about nearly 90 minutes each. So I was asking myself, who do I serve and what is the result I can generate to these people? So I'm saying, I'm thinking to myself, these are a group of online marketers who understand digital marketing, how to build funnels. So if these are the people that's in the room, what is the result that I can generate them? Now, for you, it could be something different. It doesn't mean that you need to speak at events. You could be doing a launch online. You could be selling physical products, digital products, services. But it all begins with, who do I serve? What is the result I can generate them? So because I knew they were digital marketers, I knew that one of the results that I could help get them is to automate and streamline their social media process. So with that in place, when I knew who it is that I serve and what result do I help them generate, then the next thing you gotta ask yourself is where are they hanging out? Now your ideal customers right now, they're hanging out somewhere. And we gotta understand that this conversation is already taking place. You see, most of the time, people ask the question, how do I get more traffic? How do I get more people to come to my pages? You see, that's the incorrect question to ask. The right question to ask is, where are they currently having their conversation with each other? Is it in some Facebook group? Is it on Instagram? Are they typing it on Google and then consuming it through a YouTube video? Are they watching it or watching other gamers through Twitch? But whatever it is, traffic is already happening because these conversations are already taking place. And it's all about entering the conversation that's already taking place. This could be Facebook, this could be a live event, this could be a workshop, um, this could be at some gathering, meetup, mastermind. So where are these people hanging out? So for me, when I did this offer that did slightly over $120,000 in about three and a half hours, this conversation was taking place at an event in Nashville. So because I knew where they were hanging out, that's what brings us to number three. You gotta, you gotta think about where are they hanging out. And after that, number three is about doing a pre-launch. So how do you do a pre-launch? A pre-launch is where, if it's in the online world, you'll need to build a list beforehand and build up this pressure launch so that people opt in, so they can make an event out of this thing. Okay, so for me, I, when I presented in three and a half hours, they knew that this thing did not exist yet, 
and I was just giving them value and teaching them this thing. And I was being very transparent with them that this offer and this product that I wanted to do doesn't exist yet. Now for you, if you are thinking about launching something online, before committing to ordering a thousand physical products, before creating a digital course, if it's digital, what you could be doing is you could create a pressure launch because now you know where, where they're hanging out and you could give something away for free. This could be a template, a checklist, a blueprint, a swipe file, a 14-day action plan, a free three-part video training series, but giving out something for free so that your audience will gladly give you their name and email. And once you do this, and you start collecting a database of followers, people that would be interested in this result. Remember, what is the result you generate them? Then that is when you can tell them that, look, the next step would be, I have this thing that's coming out in future date. And the truth is, I don't know if I actually want to commit to doing this thing yet. It would make sense for me if I can get at least 25 people on board, 100 people on board, 200 people on board, whatever number it might be for you, you can be, what if you could be totally transparent so that it's ethical and moral on your end? Well, you actually told your audience. So now that you've gotten this free training, now that you've gotten this download, now that you've gotten this checklist, there could be a video that plays where you tell them there's this thing that I want to do. This could be say, so now that you've downloaded this, it's Peng Jun here. I want to thank you for trusting me with your email and a course that I am creating or rather thinking of creating, that's happening in November, whatever, right? Depending on when you're watching this, future date, okay? So I, I'm gonna be creating this course, and the truth is, I only wanna create this course if I know that there's enough interest or demand for it, so that I know it's worth my time um, in actually creating it. Or, by the way, if this was a physical product, it could be like Kickstarter, where you would say, I wanna be able to create this thing, but the truth is, it's only worthwhile for me if I get in 100 orders, 500 orders. So if I hit 20 people, 50 people, 100 people committing to this, then I will go do it. But if not, I'm going to refund all of your money. I'm not going to take your money um, together with another bonus gift. Uh, could be a free template, free download, free training as a way of saying thank you for supporting me. Right, so that's exactly what I did over here. Right? I did a pre-launch and in front of the crowd, I told them very honestly, I said, I, I'm thinking about launching this new course on automation of social media and getting omnipresence. But the truth is, I'm only gonna do it if I can get a minimum of 30 people to commit. If I can't get a minimum of 30 people to commit at $2,500 each, um, I'm not gonna do it because it's just not worth my time. However, if I can get a minimum of 30 people here in this room, uh, committed to it, signing up for it, and then I will go create it together with you. So I said, I said, there's going to be six different phases. We're gonna jump on these live calls together. Eventually these live calls are gonna be part of this program, but I'm only gonna do it if there's at least that 30 people in the room doing it. Right, you're gonna do this pre-launch, and number four is where you actually pitch it. You're gonna create the pitch for the thing that you wanna sell. So which is, which is over here. Right? You're gonna create the pitch and tell your audience very transparently that it's either if you're committing a physical product, there's a huge upfront cost and it's only worth it if there's enough interest. If it's a digital product, you could be creating the course together with them, which is basically what I'm doing tonight. Like right now after this shoot, in about seven hours from now, I'm gonna be doing a call live with the people that committed to this. And it was basically following this process pitching it, and then after you sell it in a way that is absolutely very transparent, telling them what's going on. Number five is when you actually build it or fulfill it, right? So if it's a physical product, now that you've gotten enough orders, that is when you can physically um, fulfill this physical product or build it together with your audience who paid you in advance, which by the way, is going to be part of the pitch. You are actually gonna tell them Look, eventually when this goes out to the public, when it's launched, I intend to sell this at whatever full retail price might be for you. I intend to sell it for $1,000, but 
because you're going to be literally the early birds where we're gonna build it together, I'm gonna take half off because this thing doesn't even exist yet, which is basically what I said. I said, um, I wanna be able to do it if there's at least 30 people interested at $2,500 each. If there is, great, then I'm gonna build it together with you. So because there was more than enough interest in the room and people committed at that event itself, we did slightly over $120,000 in sales, but it literally followed this five-step process. If you are serious in creating products or selling products risk-free, you always want to be able to sell it first so that you get the proof of concept, then only build or fulfill it. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway is and make sure you like as well as subscribe to this channel for future videos like this one.